it's Kathy Adams Clark and I am here to show you how you can quickly rename, add metadata, add descriptions, and also quickly throw away unnecessary images using Photoshop Bridge. Photoshop Bridge again is the workhorse of photography and this is where we can do a lot of work on our photographs very fast um, in a nice organized format. So home page or the workspace is all set up. We've done that in previous lessons and now I've opened a folder of photographs and it's time to rename them and then add copyright information and throw away unnecessary images. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to edit, select all. That selects all the images in Photoshop Bridge that are opened up. I click on my right click button and I go down to batch rename and when I go to batch rename I get a screen that allows me to rename all of these photographs because the name that comes out of the camera really isn't necessary and I'm not going to use it to find the photos five years from now. I'm going to use something else, a logical name for my brain to find the photos five years from now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down this little tab and I'm going to add text. And you notice that rename in same folder is already set. I'm going to put in my initials so that my initials show up in the file name of all of my photographs. I'm going to pull down the next box and I'm going to set it for sequential number. And this is just any random sequential number that I'm going to add after my initials. I like to add the four digits that came out of the computer, excuse me, out of the camera. And so now I'm going to click rename and you notice that before I do that I am renaming 143 images and I'm renaming them KC4439 and then sequentially numbering after that. Click rename. All the photos have now been renamed. Now this renaming structure may not work for you. It works for me. Use a renaming structure that works for you. Also, every single one of these images was photographed in downtown Houston one evening during a photography class. Not every single one of them is the skyline of Houston, but some of them are. And so I'm going to click, press down my shift key, click again for all of the photos that are the skyline of Houston and then I'm going to right click again and go to batch rename one more time. And now in that text box, I'm going to change the name of the photograph to Houston downtown. I'm going to put a space and then instead of sequential number, I am going to preserve the original file name or the file name I just gave it in the previous motion. And so now I have eight files that I'm going to rename Houston Downtown KAC and then keep their sequential number. Click that. And so now that keeps all those photos together. Everything else in this file, you notice, is panning shots. And so now I'm going to click on all of those. And all I did for that was click on the first file press my shift key down, hold it, click on the second, the last file, and now I'm going to go click batch rename, and this I'm going to call panning traffic. That's all it is. And that's going to rename 143 files. So I'm going to click on that to rename all of those files. Now I have all my Houston photos together and all my panning traffic photos together. And that helps me to organize. I'm also going to go to Edit, Select All. And when I go to Edit, Select All, I'm going to click on my Metadata tab. And I'm going to pull down the tiny little triangle that we talked about in another lesson. And I'm going to replace the metadata with my metadata and now my copyright information is being placed on every single one of the photos. See down here? It's being placed on every single one of the photos. And so now all 143 photos 
now have my copyright information on them. I'm going to go back again and click on the photos of downtown Houston. And in the description tab, I'm going to type in skyline of downtown Houston, Texas. Um, and I think I'll just leave it like that. Keywords, I'm going to type in Houston, Texas, downtown. And then we can add later, we can add more keywords in the lesson on keywords. And then I'm going to click on this little apply. It's a little tiny check mark right there. And now what we've done in a very short period of time is we have renamed all those photos, we have added copyright information, and we've added descriptions. And so now I'm going to go and add the descriptions on all of these photos. Panning. Panning traffic at night. And you see how it can be done. Click on that. It applies it to all of those photos once again. And then you see that there's some obvious bad photos in this file. So all I have to do to get rid of those is click on my delete button and they immediately disappear. And so now I can go through, without you all looking over my shoulder, I can go through and throw out the obvious bad photos and then we'll come back in another lesson and start working. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kathy Adams-Clark.